application I have on my phone or my tablet, I can discover, let me undo some of this real quick. I can discover all of these, these speakers that I have here. So I have a bedroom speaker, a backyard speaker, and a living room speaker. And I'll choose the backyard. And the backyard is actually this adapter which can be plugged into a any sort of speaker line in. And I can stream to it over Wi-Fi. So backyard and I'll pick a song from my library and we'll just do this Black Science Orchestra song. So now I'm streaming to that module, this right here, pumping through the clip speaker, change the volume on that, very straightforward. Now I really like that song, so I'm going to play it across the entire house so I can group all those speakers together, hit done, and now it's streaming synchronously across all sub five milliseconds, but the human ear can't tell. In addition to that, I can also change individual volume controls. So I can do the whole group or I can do individual. I can turn the bedroom up, turn that down. Full control of the experience throughout my entire house. I'm gonna pause that for a second. So that's music that's on my phone or my tablet. The real interesting thing about what we've done is we've created a very simple SDK for a and service provider like Rhapsody or Deezer or Pandora or Spotify. Also, Spotify has a separate implementation. But effectively, what they can do is take this SDK and they can integrate it into their Android and iOS apps. So it's cross-platform. And if they do so, an all-play icon will appear and it will see the speakers that I have in the room, all within the Rhapsody application. So I can select that, hit play, Rhapsody is controlling the experience, not somebody else's application. And Rhapsody gets the full benefit of being able to control everything right here. So it's their subscriber, they maintain the brand presence, and if they're trying to generate additional revenue, they can do that because they have full control of that listener. We're here talking about the software component, but we're talking to a number of manufacturers on the hardware side. So folks that make wireless speakers, companies that make adapters that can re retrofit the legacy market. Um, and we hope to be able to announce some hardware partnerships in the near future. Thanks for listening.